I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in two dealt hands. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles first, then 27, and then 28 again. We have a flower, north, east, west, pair of east. We have a white dragon and a pair of red dragons. In cracks, we have one, two, three, six, seven, eight, not, or that's an eight, that's a pair of eights. Pair of threes, pair of eights. In bams, we have two, three, four, seven, nine, pair of nines. In dots, we have two, four, five, seven. And then we have a couple of jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples. I do see a east and west with a short run. We could even do one, two, three, or six, seven, eight, but because of this pair of nines, we maybe could play six through nine and leverage two multiples with the eight, nine there. As far as the red dragons, I just don't at the moment see how we could use that unless we do a plan B with year tiles, maybe the dragon hand. So here we have east and west with a short run. We just need to build up the two and pung the three. And then down here, itty bitty year hand, maybe. And then over here, either five, seven, seven, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. We may or may not be able to use this flower. We do have a mixed suit. Kong Han, seven, eight, nine. So there's some flexibility there between consecutive run and big odds. And then this would be likely discards. Even if we use these as discards, let's say, maybe we could use this for a joker bait and discard those. Focus here. Probably that is what would happen here. Just gather six, seven, eight, nine. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write what you would do with pull one. We have a joker, flower, west, 
two, three, four, five, and cracks, pairs of threes and fours. In dots, we have one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair five, pair eight, pair nine. In bams, we have one, four, six, seven, eight, pair, or let's see, a pung of fours and a pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play five through nine in one suit and then a two, four, six, eight hand. If we were to get fives, we could also play three, four, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five. I don't think I would do three, four, five, six. So two, three, four, five, or two, four, six, eight. I think this is how I would play it. No gaps for this hand. We need a pair, pair, pong, pong, kong. So we could use this here to help us get that pong. We just need one good pick and we could be set, whether it be a six dot, another joker, or even a seven dot. And then that way we could maybe use this to help us with the nine. So I would do that. And then up here, we've got all suits represented, even though there's only one two dot, we may or may not be able to use that. But there are a couple of choices in here. I was thinking maybe we could do two, four, four, six, eight, and then play big odds, five, seven, nine. So maybe hold that. Because two, four, four, six, eight dot, there are no gaps there. The only thing is, is we'd have to discard a pair of eights. Either way, we're not going to be able to use all the multiples. Then the other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do two, three, four, one suit Kongs, but this is really weak. I think I would, I would hold the odds here, but focus on evens for a while and see what develops. And then here, see what develops with big odds, and then maybe use this up here. And these would be the discards. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do. We have a joker, flower, pair of green dragons, north, west, south, pairs of west and south. In cracks, we have one, four, five, six, seven, eight, pair of sixes. In dots, we have three, five, six, seven, eight, pung of eights. In bams, we have six, eight, nine, pair eight, pair nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play news with eights in the wind and Tra dragon category and then five, six, five, six dragon. I think this is how I would do it. News. We need an east and we'd have to let this go and then Kong the eights. All we need in here is a north to get 
full confidence. And then down here, 5656 five, Dragon. This is a little bit weak, but we do have some potential for Joker bait. We might be able to get a Joker in here. Because of this weak hand, I would pull a plan B. Maybe 6767 six, seven, instead of 56. So hold the sevens for plan B, five, six. Well, really it's six, one half dozen the other, whichever one would come in. So we could do five, six, five, six, or six, seven, six, seven. And we really don't have to pick a hand or whatever combination we use there for this particular hand. Hold this for joker bait and discard those. I think having that, keeping the sevens for another option would be good because it's so weak. So just hold on to those those tiles there and discard these. We could Kong here, Kong here. This we need to build. The only thing we could Pung here would be the sixes because it's pair Pung, pair Pung, Kong. This one is one away from set. We just need a north which is a pair tile, so that would be risky. You know what I just thought? We should probably keep this. If the north goes down early, we have a plan B with flowers and eights. Maybe even keep this. We have a pair there, so probably won't be needing that. Start by discarding those. There's good potential here, but there's weakness too. It takes time to build, so build around your multiples, which we're doing here, and then gather. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the comment section below and what you would do with those tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, organize them like you do when you play the four player game. Put your flowers, winds, and dragons together, then put your suits together. This way you can get the lay of the land, then target the strength of the hands. Build around multiples if possible, or the predominant pattern. When you run out of discards, that's when you need to pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.